little something like this. Come on. Good afternoon, Kenny Dragons. I'm Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Newbert. And this is the afternoon announcements. Tuesday. For Tuesday. It's like day went flew by. Like like it was a weird day. Very weird. Very weird. Started with lots of math this morning. I do a lot of explanation <laughs> of what two <laughs> hours Plus. two. Just add two. If <laughs> if we have seven yeah. o'clock and we delay two hours, when do we get here? Nine o'clock. Seven plus two, eight is nine. Like, is a is a chaos. I used I it's used chaos. my kindergarten strategy of put it in your head and add on. So I put seven, seven in my head and added on eight, eight nine. nine. There you go. Yep. Good thing we it didn't. It works. Good thing we didn't start eleven hours late or Ooh. delayed because I only have ten fingers you and I'm wearing toes. socks. You can take your socks off. Yeah. Just good thing. Yeah. Good thing. That's a good thing. All right. But so, um, but that was our uh, morning this morning. The day went by fast. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going to be for lunch tomorrow or breakfast first. Bacon and egg pizza. Mmm, pizza. Not for even breakfast. Friday. You're nope. getting pizza. Yep. Lunch, beef and cheese nachos. Lettuce and tomato. Every time we have beef and cheese nachos, I think of the movie Elf. Because have you seen the movie Elf? I have. <laughs> Are there nachos in there? No, no. I thought it was spaghetti. No, remember when he oh. says that he's, it's not the real Santa? He's like, you smell like beef and cheese. <laughs> you smell like beef and cheese. You smell like beef and cheese. So, I'm going to think, and tomorrow, guess what? Tomorrow's dressed like an elf day. Tomorrow's Perfect. dressed like an elf day. Perfect. Perfect. Beef and cheese. Beef and cheese nachos. You get to put lettuce and tomato on those beef and cheese nachos. Mix in some pinto beans, mm -hmm. and I'd probably separate the mandarin oranges and not put them yeah. in your nachos. No. But yeah. you know, yeah, I wouldn't put them in your nachos or her own. That's right. Yeah, and sometimes, like I watched someone today that took their whole apple and stuck it in their mashed potatoes inside the cup. I don't even. And then he was he was surprised when that. the mashed potatoes got on his face because you know it was you pushed it in down. there. Yeah, it's got to go somewhere. It's fluid dynamics, kids. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'll learn that in physics when you get That's to right. high school. It's okay. Yeah. And then was wondering, wondering where the mashed potato, how it got on his face. How'd that happen? It was impressive. It was science. Science. Yep. All right. Um, in lunch today, here are the classes that kept all four of their stars. Pre-K, Miss Wood. Kindergarten, Miss Barrero, Miss Goodman, Miss Holsey, Miss Caldwell, and Miss Belexa. First grade. We did better today. Good job, first grade. Miss Stevens and Miss Wallace did well better done. today. Well done. Kept all four. Two. Yep. It's good. Second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Bryan, Miss Coyle, Miss Chandler, Miss Holder, and Miss Kinney. That would be all six. That's every single second grade Great class. Great job, Way second grade. To go. Third grade, Miss Escover, Miss Skelly, and Miss Piner kept all four of their stars. Fourth grade, Miss Ham, Miss Fister, Mr. McCoy, and Miss McCraw. Yep, and then Miss Allen and Miss Sorrels, along with Miss Graham, they kept their four stars. Way to go. Yep. I like to see fifth graders on that list. Yep. So now we've got two days down, classes that are still in the running. Um, they have gotten perfect scores in pre-K, Miss Wood. Miss Barrera, Miss Goodman, Miss Holsey, Miss Caldwell, Miss Belexa. Uh, second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Coyle, Miss Chandler. Third grade, Miss Escover, Miss Kelly, and Miss Piner. Fourth grade, Mr. McCoy, Miss McCraw. Fifth grade, Miss Allen, Miss Sorrels, and Miss Graham. That's right. All those classes still have an opportunity. All right, classes with perfect attendance. I think because of the weather and, I mean, that ice was just crazy keeping people in today. Um, we don't have many perfect attendants. So no pre-K, no kindergarten, but... First grade, Miss Peterson and Miss Stevens. Second grade, Miss Brian. Third grade, Miss Trillo, Miss Kylie, and Miss Skelly. Uh, and Miss Blitz. And that's it. That's it. That's it. No, no fourth, fourth fifth. no fifth grade. No. Man, no, that ice no. was scary this morning. <laughs> it was. For some, it guys was so scary they came up at, you know, like six forty-five to get yeah. it early, and, and scared it scared their math facts out of them. That's right. All right. So, wanted to show you this. I got Ooh, you. what we got. That's right. Hey. These. Kennedy swag right here. These are for sale. If you are looking for a gift for Christmas, the Kennedy beanie, 20 bucks. And someone asked me, can they spend oh, wait, dragon uh, dollars? 
No. No. No, no you can't spend We take rain. real cash. That's right, real cash. But cool. they are sale. We are limited, very limited supply of Kennedy Elementary School beanies. But if you want one, they are for sale for 20 bucks. You can pull it down and look real mean. <laughs> you do look mean. You do look really mean. But it's got our Kennedy logo on there. Um, they fit. They're very warm. I wore mine yesterday. It kept my ears warm uh, it's hot. today. It's yeah, hot. it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it does I'm heat up. To... Yep. Um, but these are for sale. <laughs> That's a good look. You can wear it low or high. Or high. Yep. There you go. If I go Rastafari, it fits in there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these are for sale. Also, too, we will be selling some socks. We don't have a sample of the socks yet. <laughs> now you just look like that dude that wears, wears a beanie in the summer <laughs> at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks, dude. Yeah. We even have the hipster beanie <laughs> for everyone. That's right. I'm not judging. So, yeah. We're noticing. Noticing, exactly. Noticing. All right. Speaking of noticing, I noticed that tomorrow is the sixth day of the 12 days of Christmas. By the way, you did a phenomenal job on singing. Uh, singing. It would have been even better <laughs> if you sang it. Uh, no, reading not, the uh, not How not the Grinch Stole Christmas. Bell's going off. Think a train's coming. So we better hurry. Um, so we do have. Um, you did a good job tomorrow. You're reading another one? Yes. Yes. Uh, how to catch an elf. How to catch That's an right. elf. We're, we're, we are going to catch elves tomorrow. That's right. I've read that book. It's fantastic. It's, so. a, it's a pretty it's, neat it's, book. It's really pretty funny. <laughs> um, so we'll have you doing that. So tomorrow, dress like an elf. Please don't smell like beef and cheese. Okay? Because mm. you, you, we're going to have beef and cheese nachos anyway. I so. don't think a lot of these kids know what they're talking about. The movie Elf. I've seen the movie. No, Elf. no, no, no. The beef and cheese. Oh. When mm-hmm. everybody, you know, used to get those like the the beef sticks, mm-hmm. and then the the, the cheese sticks uh, yeah. with the beef sticks That's for right. Christmas. They yeah. probably don't know about that. Probably don't. Because I don't think there's many Hickory Farms around Hickory. here now. No. <laughs> there's you just. That? I mean, yeah. There used to be like a place yeah. in the mall where you yeah, just go they just open pull up a little like cart, a kiosk, whole thing of yeah beef and cheese. Yeah, they used to get out samples too. Yeah, yeah. Get little, I'd go around in a circle and just go like four or five times. Beef, get your cheese. Yep, it was fantastic. That's right. All right, so uh, we're, uh, How to Catch an Elf is tomorrow. <laughs> dress like an elf. That's tomorrow. Um, that's tomorrow. That's our dress-up day. If you want to participate, you don't have to participate, but if you want to, any person that participates at least one time, you guys get into a drawing to get all 12 of the books. So And they're good uh, books? They're really good books. Great. And they're, and they're, in, they're in brand new. It's not, even, yep. it's not even like someone's book that they just passed down to us. We actually purchased They have been books. read once. They have. But that's okay. Well, just one setup. Just one. Yeah. One setup. So, uh, but that- our good news call of the day comes from Miss Coyle's second grade class, and it is Jack Munteen. Jack is recommended because he has been working so hard in Miss Coyle's class, and he's making tremendous progress in second grade. Miss Coyle is so uh, proud of how hard he works and the example he sets for everyone else. Great job, Jack, being our good news call of the day. Uh, but that's all that we have for now. So, say thank you for helping us keep you safe by being a. Ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduation, you are boldly, boldly committed to set. Don't forget, tonight is APTT for our second and third grade. We do start at 6, so parents, be here early. We'll start letting the people in at 540, so be here early. Uh, also, too, if you want one of these beanies, they'll be for sale. 20 bucks, Dragon Dollars, That's not right. accepted. Not accepted. Credit cards. Oh, do we have a swiper? We don't have a swiper, no swiping. Nope. No. Not happening. Swiper. <laughs> swiper. <laughs> you can't take cards. Cash okay. only, guys. Cash only. That's a free bus. You guys have a great evening. Love oh. you.